This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, now I'll shift to the gold market. Uh, on the gold market, in fact, guys, we have got what we have discussed. So market has shown the upward bounce from the support area. Uh, currently, it's difficult to say whether it will be the challenge for the highs and hitting of the 1440 area that we have discussed, or that is just a respect of this support, since this is the weekly pivot support one previous consolidation. You can see here, FIP support 1372. And that could be just a res respect of this area, and, and we still could get this ABC reaction to the downside. That is possible. Well, a bit later we will uh, discuss the factors that uh, we should keep an eye on on the lower time frames to understand what it will be. But currently the price action looks nice to the upside. Market take a look has t has tested the weekly pivot support one and moved above the weekly pivot point. That is the bullish sign. Currently market holds above the weekly pivot point. So on the daily time frame uh, it looks like the potential move to the upside. And that really could happen because we have very significant a moment and that really could dominate of the price action is that market has not tested the major target. And it has not tested it just for a few bucks on these highs. That's why it could be the uh, dominating reason why a market could return right back hitting this level. Well, on the 4 hour time frame chart, we see I have found another significant moment by today's action. Uh, the first moment, if you remember, that was the testing of the weekly pivot support one, and that market has held about this level because we know that when the market stands in the long term bull trend, the weekly pivot support one usually holds the downward retracement. This moment that market has held above the weekly pivot support one tells us that bullish trend probably is still intact. At least this uh, coincides with the uh, major rule that uh, weekly pivot support one should call the retracement down. And if this will happen, then we could say that trend to the upside is still intact. So that we see here. But the second uh, moment that I have found today, take a look at that, is the hidden bullish divergence. Market has formed high lows, but MACD has shown the lower lows. That is the hidden bullish divergence that suggests possible upward action. And that, I, th I suppose, could be a significant moment. That divergence has appeared right at the weekly pivot support one and 1372 FIP support area. And that's why this uh, add more confidence to us that probably this could be not just the respect, not just the bounce from the support and great ABC retracement down, but that could be really a challenge for the highs and market still could form the double top pattern that we have just discussed. On the hourly time frame, we see a couple of moments to discuss. First of all, take a look that market has completed this initial ABC pattern. Now it shows some bounce to the upside. But here market has completed our major condition that we have discussed is reversal swing. So market has broken this tendency of the lower highs and lower lows. Market has formed higher high. And this high probably almost the same as this one. So this could be a reversal swing to the upside. Now market has shown the reasonable retracement since previous momentum to the downside is significant on the hourly time frame chart. Now uh, we could discuss the moments to watch for to understand whether this move to the upside is just a respect of the daily support, probable BC lack of the downward ABCD pattern, or that is really the attempt of the market to continue move to the new highs around 1440. And for that purpose we need to watch for closely for these levels. The first level is 1404, that is coincide, almost coincide with the weekly pivot point. But the major level to watch for is this confidence. 1396, 14 area. Also take a look, that level is coincide with this previous resistance. That was also previous support here. So I do not mind 
I have no my uh, I do not object against the possible moving even to the confluence support. So that's normal. Market has broken to the upside, retested this broken area, and turned to the upside again. But if market will move below this level and move again inside of this consolidation, inside of this our pattern of the hammer uh, swing, that will be a bit nervous moment for the bulls. Bulls. It not necessarily means that. Uh, sorry, that's the uploading of the euro research. So it not necessarily mean that market will definitely will continue move lower, but that will be a worrying sign. That will be a bit too deep retracement uh, for normal and uh, conf confident uh, behavior with the upper direction. And personally, I prefer to watch uh, retracement either to this level or at maximum to this confidence support. If market will fast show the first return right below it broken this confidence support it's probably do not take the long position so if you have entered long here with our uh, analysis yesterday based on the hammer pattern and ABCD retracement down to the 618 support you could move your stop to the break even because this level stands below this 618 support and if market will move below them well this will be the great um, chance for possible reestablishing of the bearish trend and that will probably tell us that this is only the BC leg of the possible ABCD down. Uh, that's why uh, this if I, if this level and this low is significant. If market will take it out of it, then be ready for the possible downward action. If market will hold above this confluence support or test this level and turn to the upside, then this could be really moved to the 1440 area. That's why we should keep a close eye on this current development. It will be perfect if market will give us some kind of the ABCD here with the agreement with this confluence support. That will give us uh, confidence that we probably could take additional long position around this area, around 1396 uh, to 14 even area. So let's see what will happen. Because price action now on gold market is very interesting and carries a lot of opportunities for trading. Uh, we'll see how it will turn.